Hello, welcome to Uniquely Brutal, the podcast of fine arts and farts with yours truly, Ben Davis. And uh, it's Christmas Day, and I'm depressed. I'm home alone, celebrating Christmas with nobody. It was a chaotic night last night. Usually every year Christmas just doesn't go as planned, and Mother gets upset because things aren't just so and it's you can't have them just so all the time it's kind of impossible but a lot of people made mistakes I made mistakes my brother my mom big time my mom but uh, just fucking bullshit Um, we were gonna go celebrate Kristen uh, celebrate Christmas at my sister's but I decided to stay behind and stay home because I did not want to fucking be around anybody because I'm very upset I'm very depressed, and I just don't want to deal with anybody's bullshit. I just, I don't want any human interaction right now. Um, I know it's sad, especially on Christmas Day, but, ugh, just a bunch of crazy shit happened last night. I don't even want to talk about it, because I feel like I'll just get overworked up and stuff, but, so here's a lovely video of me wood-burning a T-Rex. It's, uh, it's like a puzzle thing that you put together and I would burned it all dots mainly did it for my nephew for his birthday and I won't be able sorry for Christmas and I won't be able to see him open it up because I'm not there because I decided to stay home I'm very depressed right now I kind of regret not going but yet I still did not want to deal with any other human beings right now today it's just a, so much toxic. So much, you know, not even toxic. I don't even know. It's just drama. Fucking drama. Why does it have to happen? Why must it always be every fucking Christmas? Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, I don't want a family. I don't want kids. I don't want any of that shit. It's so confusing to me. It's so fucking stressful. Ugh. I already told my mother, do not invite me to any more family events, even at my sister's. I don't want to go anymore. I don't give a shit. I don't want anything to do with that. I thought family gatherings are supposed to be fun, not fucking stressful. And I love my sister. I really have nothing against her, but I, why do we have to have Christmas, Thanksgiving, every fucking holiday at her place she lives in a small dinky trailer it's cramped and when you get nine people in there it's especially fucking cramped i don't like it it is so chaotic there i'm already ranting it just hasn't been good for me today you know so i you know edited this video real quick of this t-rex being made the video is 57 minutes long, 22 seconds. So that's how long I'll kind of talk for to fill up the audio space in this video. So I'm just kind of walking around my house, getting some stuff done. I'll visit my dragons, say hello to them. At least I'm spending Christmas with someone, well, some things, two reptiles I can enjoy Christmas with. They make me happy. I love my beardies. They, they actually help with my depression. I don't know why I'm not with them right now. I'm going to go upstairs and hang out with them. So I'm just walking around the house with my recorder. My H1N1 recorder. <laughs> the jet still makes me laugh. Walking past my stick bugs. They got fresh food last night. They got some fresh brain bramble. Got three females and a male. They're all getting well just fine in the 10-gallon tank. Could be a little bit bigger, but the ones, the biggest ones are done growing, so I don't have to worry about them having to shed and needing the height to molt. Uh, I got one female. Youngster. She's a baby. She'll be growing quite a bit, but she's a different species than the other ones. So they're chowing down, having some bramble. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to walk around the house, talk about shit. Hey, guys, how you doing? It's Spike. Hey, Mike. 
they're watching Metroid, Metroid Prime 2? 3, Metroid Prime 3. It's, uh, I don't know how, I don't know what number it is in the Metroid series. I know Metroid started in fucking 86 or 87, you know, it's for NES. Pretty fun game, you should check it out. And then the newer games, like, there's a really fun one that came out for the, the GameCube, Nintendo GameCube, really fucking fun. Very simple animations, but all very entertaining. And my, Mike especially is really fucking, his eyes are glued to the screen, he's just watching this gameplay, it's really, like, oh, he's into it. You know, I gotta keep your dragon's brain stimulated. Anybody has a pet dragon, even a cat or a dog... And it's super quiet in your house, and there's not a lot of motion going on. And when you leave for the day, turn the fucking TV on, man. It could be anything. They don't care if they're watching commercials all day. They want to see movement. They want to see people's faces, other animals. They want to look at motion, pretty colors. SpongeBob would be great, too, you know? I, I like to go on YouTube, and I, I get, like, 12-hour uh, uh, gameplays of any kind of game. Assassin's Creed, fucking Tomb Raider, Metroid... Metro, all sorts of different fun games for them to watch and enjoy. Sometimes I just I go to my movie drive and I'll play uh, in order the the James Bond movies. You know, starting with the, the the first one in 1962. They love those, and especially every time Sean Connery comes on screen, they go. Oh, I forgot Sean Connery passed away early this year. Early, well, not early, like a couple months ago or so. Rest in peace, Sean Connery. You, you were one of the greatest actors out there. And I'm glad you stood by your, your reasoning of why sometimes a woman just needs a slap. <laughs> but anywho. Yeah, my dragons are enjoying the telly. Having a good time. I know at some point I'm going to have to take a shit. Piss or jerk off, you know. I'm, I'm going to turn the recorder off when I jerk off. That's, that's just unpleasant. But when I take a dump, I'm going to leave the quarter on. Because I can talk during a dump. I, I, I cannot talk during masturbation. I don't get phone sex. I don't get it. I don't want to talk to somebody on the phone while I'm working my Peter. And then focus hard on what they're saying. And then just jizz all over the phone book. No, no, no. I, I like to look at porn. I like to be in control of my s scenario. My, uh... Uh, role playing scenario or whatever in my head. So, yeah. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna go take a pee. I pooped earlier. I don't think I'm gonna have to poop at all during this. But I definitely have to urinate drinking a lot of water because you have to drink a lot of water when you have an anal fissure. Because if you're healing, if you're sick for something, you got a broken bone. Anything like that. Drink a lot of water. It helps heal your body faster. Yeah. It's a good piss. So I hope you're enjoying this podcast so far. Oh, don't Come on. Come out. Ugh, some of it wants to stay behind. Come on, come on out. You just gotta shake it out sometimes. Ugh, okay. It's done. When I wash my hands, I love using that foam soap. Because it's, it's like it's pre-lathered. You don't have to lather anything up. It's already sudsy. You just spread it all over your hands. And kill that corona. Or whatever fucking dangerous virus that may be on your hands. I got a lot. I jerk off constantly. I got a lot of viruses on it, I'm sure. You know when you jerk off too much that your your skin's developing a rug burn? And I got to think to myself, like, man, I need softer socks. I, I need something like maybe, maybe socks made from spiderweb silk. It might be smooth on my dick. Mm. Hey, spiky girl. You're so cute. 
You know, when this T-Rex is done, by the way, because it's already, it's been done, but when it, when I finished and completed it, it looked, from the corner of my eye, hey girl, from the corner of my eye, it looked a lot like Spike, my female dragon. Hey, pretty. He's a good girl, yeah. In fact, I, I finished it, and I was coming up the stairs holding it, because, you know, it's a puzzle piece. I have to hold it on my hand flat. Can't just carry it around down by my side it will fall apart so I'm holding it the same way I hold Spike usually and I was coming up the stairs and Brian's like oh I don't remember you grabbing Spike and then he realized oh it's a wooden T-Rex there, there was even the time when I was wrapping gifts on the table and the T-Rex was off to the side and for just looking down for a split second I thought like oh I I didn't know Spike was on the table I, I forgot I left her on the table no nope, it was the T-Rex it looks so much like her from, from peripheral of course, you look directly at it, you go, oh, yeah, you see the similarities. It's clearly different, but design is so similar. <coughs> <coughs> to Spike's design. So, you know, I'm going to set the recorder right here. Oh, I coughed and I got mucus on the screen of the recorder. That's not good. Okay, it's off now. Put it right here, put it on its side. We are 11 minutes, 33 seconds in. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, look, you got new scales coming in. Her foot is beginning to molt. You know what I love about bearded dragons that are different from snakes? Well, all lizards do this. Definitely is different from snakes is how they shed. When a snake sheds, it's like it's taken off an entire onesie. It starts from its head and it comes out, ends at its tail, and it's all one piece, its whole skin. But when it comes to bearded dragons, they shed in sections. Like they'll do their arm first, or the top of their head, or their tail, or just the back. And then when that comes off, and then the next leg will start molting. It's just by sections. It does not all come off at once. Now, there could be a lot of sections that are molting at the same time, but it still comes off in pieces, not a one like a onesie like you see with snakes. You're so cute, girl. Yes, you are. She's looking at me wondering, why, who are you talking to? Because usually I'm talking directly to her. She understands that, but she, she's like, what? you're talking to something. What is that black box on top of my cage? Why are you talking into it? She does. She reacts sometimes with when we have the home phone or cell phone or whatever, and I'm calling somebody or I pick up someone who's calling me and I put them on speaker, and she looks at the phone the whole time because she's like, where the fuck is that voice coming from? What is this sorcery? You know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Just another lazy Friday. However, I'm glad I don't have to do my triple jobs today. I get, I mean, because usually on Fridays and Tuesdays, I have to clean three different buildings because, you know, I'm a janitor. But today's Christmas, so I get that off. And yesterday, it's normally two buildings, but I only had to do one. And that one building, I can't go in until, like, normally, like, uh, actually always is uh, 6.30. I can't go in because that's when the, the alarm resets itself, so... Uh, I have to go in after 6, and I can't be there after 10, 30. But yesterday, I, it, they were done early. I think they were done at, like, fucking 1 or or 12.30. So I was able to get in at 1, clean it, and I was out by 3. It was great. Around 3 or whatever. So, and then, yeah, I was only there for, like, an hour and a half. Came home. After that, that was done. Did some last-minute Christmas shopping. Um, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I half regret not going, because I really wanted to see my nephew open up the gifts I got him, especially the T-Rex I made him, well, wood burned, I, I, I bought the wood pieces from, from a vendor, craft, crafting vendor, up north, and then I just fucking, it was already in the shape of a T-Rex, and then I just wood burned it, cool, put cool designs on it and shit, I need to do more work, wood burn products for when I vendor though I've been so depressed I kind of been just like not wanting to vendor even though I can't vendor anyway because it's fucking cold outside nobody's really vendoring at this time and especially COVID is making it so much fucking 
more difficult for other crafters to get out there and have crafting shows. I dislike that very much. Oh. But I got my nephew. He got two, uh, issue one and two of The Tick comic book. Really fun, funny comic book series. It's good for all ages. And uh, <clears throat> I got him a really cool Predators action figure from the movie Predators 2010. He specifically got the Falconer Predator, which is the one where it doesn't have a shoulder cannon, a plasma cannon. It has, instead of its place, a really cool, like, Falcon drone. But this this action figure doesn't have the Falcon drone with it. Why does that happen sometimes? He used it, like, once or twice in the movie, and a lot of the action figures they sell, a lot of them don't come with the fucking Falcon drone. But if you want the one with the Falcon drone, you got to pr pay a pretty penny to get that Hot Toys model action figure from the company Hot Toys, which is badass, by the way. Like, think of amazing action figures that are around two to five hundred bucks. They're really well made. They're insanely well made. They're hand done. They're hand painted, hand crafted, and they have movable parts too. So it's an action figure, but this is like an action figure you wouldn't want to play with. And, and fear of damaging it, you would want to put it in a display case and change its pose every couple of days just so it doesn't always look the same. But a nice display case that keeps the dust out and shit like that. I love Hot Toys. It's cool. I, I want to get an action figure fr from them sometime. I don't know if I want to get one. I want to get... Ugh. I want to get either Predator 2, that Predator, the City Hunter, or I want to get the Wolf Predator from AVPR. Endless vs. Predator Requiem, which I know is not the best movie, but it's entertaining, and there's a lot of cool characters with character design that's in it. Again, not the best movie, <laughs> but it's entertaining if you want to get drunk or high as fuck. It, the movie's it's enjoyable. It really is. Um, yeah, or Hot Toys of the Predator Alien. That's really well detailed. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I got Brayden, that Predator toy, well, action figure, um... And this was, like, I don't know if it was used or just in storage for a while because there's a little bit of wear and tear on the box itself, the outside box. Um, it, the movie came out ten years ago. So this could have been made ten years ago and it was never used or somebody did use it and now they sold it used because it looks like it's used, but it looks like it's in great condition other than the box it came in. But, yeah, okay. What else did I get him? What else did I get the little fucker? Oh, I got him a really cool $25 Roblox gift card from Walmart. I also got my brother a $30 Steam gift card from Walmart. And I say that specifically because Meyer doesn't sell those kind of gift cards, which I don't get. I don't, I don't, why? Dude, dude why isn't Meyer good at gaming like Walmart is? They're not, Walmart isn't the best at gaming, but they have a lot more... Uh, variety to choose from. They got all sorts of really cool... In the gaming section, dude, there's so, so, all sorts of really cool, like, uh, fucking action figures. They have really fucking cool turntables with actual records. Little tiny tiny... They want to keep up that, you know, that old tradition of fucking r vinyl playing and stuff like that. Meyer doesn't have any of that, last I checked. But, I mean, where I live, I live in a small town. Therefore, a small Meyer and a small Walmart... Um, now the Walmart uh, we have here isn't really, I mean, yes, on the small end, but it's quite large compared to a lot of other stores. I've been to a mega Walmart. I've been to a mega Meyer. They're fucking huge. Like these would be great armories because it's mainly fucking cement walls and stuff. <coughs> Weren't all those malls be created and designed in, in a way of such if America were to go into a civil war out of nowhere or into a crazy war in, in our within our land, those places can easily be turned into military bases. I mean, think about it. You have all those supplies of food, water, medical stuff, all sorts of different shit. So it is useful for that. And I guarantee you, if, if things worse, things get really worse, it's going to happen. Either the Meyer or the Walmart in my town is going to be converted to a fucking armory or a fucking a supply place for the, the military. And it'll be a, like a cool fucking military base as we're, you know, defeating the 
the, the butt raping aliens, I guess. I don't know. I, I mean, actual aliens, by the way, not Mexicans. <laughs> and yes, do Mexicans do plenty of butt raping, but they're not the biggest butt rapers. Not that I know of. Ain't that right, Spike? You're so cute. Look at you just watching me, talking away, wondering what the fuck I'm doing. Look. Look, look at my recorder. Is my recorder? See the red light? Pretty, isn't it? Okay, no, you don't. Yeah, she wants to snap at my recorder. I'm not going to let her. This was a $110 recorder. I didn't want that to happen. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. Aw, she's closing her eyes at me. Aw, because she's super relaxed, hanging under her basking spot. She's having a good time. Aw, I'm rubbing her chin, giving her a neck massage, and she's just closing her eyes and melting into my hands. Aw, you're so cute, aren't you, little girl? Yeah, I love you too, boy. I'm sorry, I'm giving the girl attention right now, okay? The male lizard is wondering why I'm over here and not over there with him. Just like my nephew is probably wondering why am I not there for Christmas and I'm over here and not over there with him. I'm sorry, Brayden. I, I'm kind of a shithead. I was so upset at Mother I didn't want anything to do with her, so I just wanted to be alone for Christmas. It is partially my fault, but goddamn she overreacted. I should not even get into it. My mother's not a bad person. She just makes bad decisions. And says bad things sometimes, but... Whatever. It's fucking bullshit, anyway. Uh, 21 minutes, 56 seconds, and... Uh, 22 minutes, 1 second. Nice. I bet this is the most exciting podcast you've ever heard. Okay, so I'm looking at my recorder, and I know it's a nice T-Rex, isn't it? All those dots I put into it while wood burning. So I'm looking at my recorder, and the top part, I clearly see the microphone, which you're supposed to, you know, speak into. I mean, that will capture the sensitive sounds. <coughs> so you can post and edit it on a podcast. But I'm also looking at the bottom part of the recorder, and there's little holes in it. Like, there's another microphone down there. Does this thing have two microphones on it? It's almost like it's a small phone. You know when you're speaking to those old uh, landline phones, and the, the, the bottom part, you know, you have the part you put your ear up to, and then you have the bottom part you speak into? Why does it look like I'm supposed to speak into this? Like, it's a phone. I don't know. I'm just kind of talking on my ass to fill up time for this podcast. I'm going to go downstairs now. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's okay. Mail wants some loving. Come here, Mikey. Come here, Mikey boy. Aww. I picked him up and he melted right in my hand. He wanted that. You want attention. Mm. Yeah. I love you. Mm. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Aww. Aww. He's so cute. He's getting bigger. He's got a thick tail. He's got a big belly. He eats well. He gets super horny when he sees his girlfriend, so that's a, that's a good sign, too. He's just a happy, healthy lizard. I love you. I love you. Okay, I'm going to put you back now, okay? Good boy. Oh, needs different lighting. I totally forgot to switch out. What I do is he sleeps with the red bulb on, so it's not so bright, and he's usually covered with a sheet or one of my boxers I don't use anymore. I use them as rags. And then I turn the red light off when he's on, awake, give it about five minutes, and then I can replace the bulb out because after five minutes the bulb's not that hot, and I can touch it with my bare fingers. And I switch it out with the blue bulb, which is like, a, it's a blue light. It's a 20 watt. No, it's a 60 watt. But the blue bulbs don't give off extreme heat like the white bulbs do. 
So I like to have on one side a, like the white bulb and on the other side the blue bulb, kind of a blue light, so it's not as intense. So one side it's around like 9,500 degrees, and then the other side of the tank it's around like 80, 85 degrees. I want to keep it warm throughout the tank. You have to do that for bearded dragons because you want to replicate uh, desert, you know. So I uh, just turned the bulb off. Going to give it a few minutes, replace it out, make sure you get a nice cozy blue light bulb switch it out from the red one and then I'm gonna go downstairs have a dabby poo and then fucking uh, make some pine trees because I'm working on tiny sceneries too so it's a very simple Christmas day simple and alone though I'm not really alone I got my beardies they keep me company they're, they're quite interactive Especially the female. She loves to move around and crawl around and walk walk around upstairs and just fucking journey and venture and roam. Venture in Rome. Venture in Rome. I would like to go back to Rome someday, though. It, it is fun, but there's a lot of other even funner places in Italy, let me tell you. I've been to Narnia. You ever been there? I mean the real... Narnia, the place the book is based off of. I've been to that town. It's a city, a village, if you will, built on the side of a fucking mountain. So it's like everywhere you're walking, you're kind of walking uphill or downhill. It's hard to drive. No, there's not really any cars there. There's like mopeds and shit like that. You don't want to drive a car around in a place like that. It would be sketchy as fuck, especially when you're American and you're, you're used to all these flatlands. Now Mikey's wondering, what the fuck am I doing? This is not a phone, Mikey. It's a recorder. See? Isn't that pretty? I'm wood burning a T-Rex right now, Mikey. You can't see it, because it's done already. I think I masturbate too much. Or I don't masturbate enough. <laughs> no, no, when it hurts, it's too much, man. I wish there was like a porn hub for, um, ah, like sexy house plants, you know, like, ooh, here's a potted fern in lingerie. Oh, oh, it just came on the screen. Or, ooh, here's a sexy pine tree with a 15 inch pine cone strap on. Oh, 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 I just came all over the screen again. See, I'm full of good ideas. They're not the best ideas, but they're good. I'm going to give another minute, and then I'm going to touch this bulb, see how it is, replace it out. Because right now I'm just kind of pacing around in my room while my dragons are watching me, and then I'm talking to this recorder, and they're probably wondering, is he breaking down? Is he having his quarter-life crisis? Because <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm quarter of the way through. I'm not midway. So. I wonder if I'm going to have to piss again before I go back downstairs. Okay, I'm going to touch this bulb, see how it is. It's, I can touch it. Okay, let's get the blue bulb. So those of you who are wondering, no, I did not make this podcast to attract girls. And if you can tell, it's like the complete fucking opposite of that. Are you fucking kidding me? The bulb I just put in burnt out. Literally the second I turned it on. Oh, these cheap fucking bulbs. Alright, back to the fucking red light. Actually, wait a minute. Do I got any other bulbs I can... Uh, I don't think so. Are you a 20... 25 watt? That won't do it. 25 watt? That won't do it! Ah, burr, 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 burr. This is upsetting to me. Okay. All right, so a 60-watt bulb fucking burned out. I only have two 25-watt bulbs. The area where I usually set the 65-watt is at a perfect height, but the 25-watts are not that hot. 
So now I'm going to have to make a quick pedestal for little Mikey so that way he can enjoy the heat because you want it to be really warm. I mean, you could be right up against this bulb. It does not burn, but it will keep you warm. But again, if you're too far from it, it's not warm enough. Okay, that might do it. Now i got to put a paper towel on this bitch. All right, not bad, not bad. You gotta improvise in life, you know? Fucking improvision. Imp imp improvise on everything you have to, almost. It sucks, but yeah, it is what it is. It's whatever the fuck. Oh, come on, motherfucker. You got to improvise as much as you can. Improvise, you see. Improvise. Ah. All right. I think that should do it. I think we'll be good. It's fucking 25 water. Yay! We're more than halfway done with this podcast. It's only going to be 57 minutes and 22 seconds. All right, this is the fucking 25 water. Not that impressive, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Jeez, that is not that warm, but the area I built up for him will keep him close to it and keep him warm. That's gotta be annoying, man. I gotta be annoying. Jeez, I hope this works good. Ugh, it is not that hot, but it'll have to do. At least he's got his hottest lamp. I'm going to have to get another bulb tomorrow. I'll have to get a couple bulbs tomorrow. He's such a good boy, though. I need to clean his cage because Mikey's getting a brand new cage. He's in a 55 gallon right now. He will, or a 50 gallon, I don't know exactly, but he will be getting a 75 gallon tank. Just like Spike. And I, um, for Christmas, I did receive a cool stand. Well, I got it early, like a week or two early, for their tanks. So they will go right over each other. So it can hold two tanks, two 70 gallons, and Spike will go on top. Mike will go on the bottom. The bottom tank currently spikes it on the floor, completely flush to the ground. So this new stand will raise the bottom tank a good two inches off the ground, two or three inches. So Mikey will have a better view of the TV. Spike will be able to look outside and see all the action that's action that's happening outside, and she have a good goddamn time. She loves looking outside. Until she a bird scares the fuck out of her, and then she wants to go hiding. But other than that, she loves to look outside. Ugh. I'm gonna go downstairs and dab. I feel goddamn sneeze. Hold on, hold on. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye bye. I love you so much, you cute little monsters. You're so adorable, all of you guys. Gary Christmas! Gary Christmas. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, I feel fucking sneeze coming, man. So, yeah, it's a boring fucking Christmas. Very simple, so I'm just gonna get shit done. <laughs> After I'm done with this pot, I'm gonna fucking record. Uh, not record. I'm gonna do some cleaning. Just try to do something productive to help with the depression. Because I do know usually, especially when I'm really fucking depressed, I just clean things. I clean things, and after everything's all clean and I got a nice area, like either it's my bedroom or it's my downstairs office area or my art 
work area, table, whatever, after it's all cleaned up, I, I feel better about myself because I feel, well, let me tell you, I never make my bed. Never have. I mean, yeah, I have in the past, but I don't normally at all now. And I just know when you got a messy room, a messy bed, a messy office, you have a messy mind. I for sure got that messy mind, 100%. Um, yeah. It's, uh, ain't the best, but it is what it is. It is what it fucking is. Oh, that's nice music. I'm going to turn this down a bit because I don't have rights to this music. So I'm going to turn on the lights down in my little workroom. I'm down in the room where I normally record my video diary podcast. And there's a lot of fucking sticks and branches in here. A lot of hemp stems I got to turn into roach clips and walking sticks. Like actual, not the stick insect, I mean a staff you can walk with. And I have a lot to work with, actually, that I can turn into some, some really fucking cool staffs. Or even a fucking, uh, a cannabis shillelagh, that'd be cool. Usually shillelaghs are made out of black thorn lumber, but that'd be interesting to have a shillelagh made out of a thick hemp trunk. That'd be awesome, it'd be pretty sturdy. i definitely need a thick coat of polyurethane. I'm not going to use poly, though. I'm going to use epoxy to seal those bastards. Yeah. It's going to be a good goddamn time. I hope. <coughs> there we go. Down in the dabbing pool. So, I've gotten into midget porn. I really like it when a midget just beats the fuck out of a donkey. Wait, that's not porn, that's animal abuse. I really like it when a midget just takes a 15-inch strap on and then is just fucking another midget and you can see the the dildo slowly protruding from inside of his skull because, you know, midgets are small, so... Yeah, I'm not the best at improvising. So, I hope you enjoyed my podcast so far. It's pretty much like this. It doesn't get any better or any worse. Nah, I can get a lot fucking worse. But, eh, it's it's whatever. I'm get a dabbing rig now. I can dab. Merry Christmas. Gary Christmas. Fairy Christmas. Jerry Christmas, Larry Christmas, Dairy Christmas, uh, Sherry Christmas, Berry Christmas, uh, I can't think of anything else, but yeah, Gary Christmas everybody. I hope you're having a better Christmas than I'm having right now. It's pretty shitty. And no one's even going to know how bad my Christmas was because YouTube shadow banning the fuck out of me. And it's hard for people to see my content. Here I am making a lovely T-Rex talking about masturbation and Christmas. And YouTube doesn't want people to see my words, to hear my words of wisdom. I don't appreciate it, YouTube. You got to allow all content creators, even the ones that are dumb as fuck like myself. Oh man, I'm going to take a fat dab. Oh my gosh, this one's extra liquidier than the other ones I've been using. I got like a syringe here full of black goo. It's not black tar heroin, it's, it's Rick Simpson's oil. And it's fucking strong stuff. I'm going to put a little more on it because I need a little more because uh, I'm depressed. But I will say, as depressed as I can be, as I can get, as I have been, I feel like podcasting really helps in a way for me to get the shit off my chest, for me to talk about it with somebody, even though nobody's here physically right now, 
with the exception of my dragons, but they're upstairs. I'm downstairs now. The, it helps me with my with my psychosis. It helps me with my craziness. It helps me grab, get a grip on reality, and definitely keep me from committing suicide. I don't want to do that because I've contemplated suicide many times in the past, but I wouldn't want to go through with it because it's very selfish. Yeah, sure, you're maybe taking yourself out to help with your pain and your misery, but think of everyone else who is going to continually be alive and live the rest of their lives knowing that their their loved one, their family member killed themselves. That will fuck them up pretty bad, too, and then they may commit suicide. So it's like, I don't want to commit a, a suicide domino effect, you know? That's no good. I don't want that in my family. I don't want my nephew committing suicide. I don't want my sister committing suicide. I don't want my brother committing suicide. I don't want nobody doing that in my family. Uh, I lost a cousin last year to suicide. Even though he wasn't blood related to me, I still recognized him as my cousin. Uh, Elijah Payne. I miss you, man. Even though we weren't close. Even though we only hanged out a, a handful of times. Every experience I had with you was a positive one. And I wish you were still with us, Elijah. But I know... Me... <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting emotional right now. <laughs> me... Your sisters... We'll, we'll see you again someday. Selena will see you again someday. Jasmine will see you again someday. In the in an un, in a different land, in a different type of reality, we will all unite again. The year before that, I had a friend that committed suicide. He was going through a transition. And because he had mental disorders, a lot of people were kind of making fun of him and stuff like that, but he had he was having a war in his head and he couldn't deal with it anymore I'm talking about my friend Matt Rankin Matthew or Maddie as her name became right after the transition but didn't transition long didn't even get on the hormones and then fucking committed suicide I mean again was I tried to reach out to this person they lived far away, they couldn't drive, they lived in a halfway house, they had lots of drug abuse in their past, so therefore hit, hit her mentality, her mental capacity was greatly diminished. And it sucks that it's happened to this person. It sucks that they, a friend of mine committed suicide, a friend who didn't feel like he was he, she was loved by her comrades, by her family, was living in a halfway house because she had a drug problem and could not speak articulately. Like this per you have a conversation with this person, you tell right away, okay, this person is either have a greatly diminished mind or they were born like this. He was not born like this. He took a lot of drugs that made him slur his words and not think clearly and inevitably led to kind of a suicide thing. I don't know if the drugs led to suicide or the depression. I have no clue. But I miss you, uh, Matty Rankin. You're a friend of mine. I had positive experiences with you, too. Not fully positive, but not fully negative, either. You were never mean to me, and I miss you. I miss you. I miss Elijah. I miss... I've had other friends that committed suicide. Why am I talking about suicide? Oh, yeah, because I was contemplating it a lot in the past. Suicide's f not fun, people. It's no joke. I, dude, I almost fucking said, Suicide's fun, people. It's a total joke. No, no, God damn it. I'm a fucking comedian. Don't take me seriously. Uh, but it's not a fun time. And especially if you fucking believe in hell, you, you, your mind makes it so. And you'll have your, you'll be damned to your own personal hell for eternity or something. I don't know. Who fucking knows? I don't think there is a hell, honestly. I don't think there's any room for punishment. 
because once you die, you're something else. You're not who you used to be. You become a new thing. It's like you were a caterpillar, and now you hatch into some sort of cosmic butterfly or some shit like that. I don't know fully. I'm just looking at this dab on this utensil, kind of like it's it's like slow molasses. It's going to one side, so I turn it, so it goes to the other side, and then it turns around, and then blah blah blah. And I just kind of. It's like when you're working with molten glass, like when you're doing boral silicate glass blowing. When you have a glop of molten, melting glass on the end of a glass stick, and you just got to constantly turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, so that way it doesn't glop to one side or it doesn't completely fall off the stick and onto your, onto the ground, or your exposed feet. What the fuck are you doing blowing glass with exposed feet? You're supposed to have protective gear protective eye stuff. You should be wearing j denim jeans and thick shoes anytime you work with glass. I don't get people that do glass blowing and they're in fucking flip-flops. Are you fucking retarded? You're gonna get an insane scar if any piece of, even the smallest piece of glass that's like the size of a fucking bobby pin, the size of a pinhead, that falls on your skin. Oh god, that's agonizing pain, man. I touched molten glass before. It's not... Fun. By accident, touch molten glass. Not on purpose. Don't think I'm an idiot. I am an idiot, but I'm not that kind of idiot. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. So, we're 46 minutes, 32 seconds in. I hope you're having a good time right now. I've just been talking out my butt. Hey! Now, I'm not in pain basically anymore. I have discomfort here and there. But I still have an anal fissure. And oh boy, let me tell you. It was horrific. It was painful beyond belief when it was bad. It was, at its, it was probably at its peak about two and a half weeks ago. It was horrible. It was fucking horrible and devastating. I was screaming and crying and yelling and all that stuff. But now, I'm at the point where I don't have to take warm water baths anymore. Because I only had to take the warm water baths when I had to. <coughs> <laughs> and and I uh, um, I don't have to constantly lay down through the day because uh, my ass is at such discomfort because it feels like my butthole is about to fall out of me. So that hasn't happened. So it's it's getting better and better every day with that part, the pain. Depression is a different story. So I'm sure you can tell I haven't been posting a lot of videos. I'm completely off Facebook and Instagram. I should get onto Parlor and bit shoot, but depression keeps you from being productive. It keeps you from doing the things you want to do. It keeps you from thinking clearly. It keeps you from being you, and that's no good. You have to fight depression, battle it. I mean, that's another reason why I like doing this podcast. I'm able to talk about my flaws and talk about the things that are wrong and then reflect on it later on. I always listen to my podcast, by the way, because I want to take notes. To, I want to improve myself. I want to get better. I want to get, you know, become the better Ben Davis that I can be every day. I'll never be the best Ben Davis because there's no such thing as the best Ben Davis. There's just Ben Davis. And I'm constantly evolving, just like everyone else. I don't plan to reach enlightenment. I just want to reach something that's more than contentment. I want to reach something that's not exactly fully comfortable, but at the same time, like, oh, I'm happy here. I'm more than content. You know? That's why I'm working on a, a comic book. I, I want to get it out there and get it published. And it's a really fucking cool story. When my nephew was staying the night, I read the book to him. The part I had... Well, not the whole thing, but a good portion of it, because I'm, obviously I'm still working on it. And he loved the story. Ten-year-old boy loved it. Sure, some of it he didn't understand, because the book is actually made for a mature audience. But he still enjoyed the rhymes. The rhymes are fantastic. And they're constant. Every two lines, I do a rhyme. Every sentence. It, it, it reads like a children's book, but it ain't a children's book at all, let me tell you. Let me fucking tell you. Okay, I'm going to finally dab. Let's get my mind off of this. Cough my guts out, and then this podcast will be done. Because it's only 57 minutes and 22 seconds long. So I'm only going to make it 57 minutes and 21 seconds long. 
I'll end at 21 seconds. Whatever. We're at 49.59. 50 in one sec, two seconds now. Yeah. I am not prejudiced to what I masturbate to. I like all kinds of women. Sometimes guys. Uh, but mainly women. Half of what I look at is trannies. I don't know why I like trannies. They're fucking... Even though they're, they have a, basically a mental disorder, god damn, they're, they're mouth-watering. <laughs> Not all tra... Okay. It's called gender dysphoria for a reason. It has something to do with the mind. Now, when I say that, I'm clearly not all trans people are mental cases, but they do have a sort of mental disability, just like I do. I have fucking Asperger's. I'm autistic. What I'm trying to say is it'd be hard for me to get a trans girlfriend that is sane. It'd be next to impossible, basically. I'm going to get canceled, I know, but I'm going to take a dab. Hold on. take up my shirt because I'm warm overheated for coughing so much. This is why I like Blair White, the YouTuber, trans YouTuber. Not just that I'd love to have her sit on my face, but <laughs> she's just, you look at this trans YouTuber, well, trans person in general, and you think to yourself, well, at least I do, finally, someone that's making sense. Someone who's telling it like it is. But here's the thing. <coughs> <coughs> but when I say that, I don't mean like, oh, most transsexuals don't make sense and they're crazy. No, 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 no. If you were to break it down out of the whole trans community, most of them are level-headed. Most of them are quite coherent, quite re reasonable. They, they can run a company, a business, no issue whatsoever. It's the small, the tiny percent, the two percent, the whatever, that have such big voices on the internet. And a lot of people think, like, that's it, that's the trans community, or these annoying fuckers right here. No, it's not. There's such a small, minute number. <laughs> Just listen to Blair White. She's funny. She's great. She's hot. And uh, another great trans celebrity I love is Bailey J. She's like a porn star actor or whatever. That's how I found her was on porn. She looks like a straight up woman with a normal cock. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? And she, she's not going to get it cut off because she, she likes her cock. And it's, uh, it's a massive cock. It's, it's huge. But it, it looks like a girly cock doesn't look like a manly cock at all. Trans people have girly cocks, you know? Why am I talking about this? Is this how I'm going to end my podcast? It'll be, it'll be like this at the end. I got three fucking minutes left. And I'm going to be talking about trannies. And how I want some of them to sit on my face. <laughs> I know, I'm so exposing to myself, aren't I? Okay, so... Okay. So, I have an anal fissure. <laughs> nah, it's healing. It's almost gone. Well, even after all the pain is gone, it still heals for like another month or so. It takes a while, man. It's a deep, 
scar, a deep tear in the tissue, in the muscle, in the muscles. <coughs> so, um, fuck, what was I about to say? Doesn't this T-Rex look amazing? I gave it stripes, because that, what influenced me for that was Fang from Primal. The cartoon series by uh, Granny Turk. I can't pronounce the guy's name. He's like Russian. He's the guy. He created Samurai Jack, Dexter's Laboratory. He did some of the Star Wars animated series stuff, and a lot of other. I think he directed the Hotel Transylvania movies. Which, by the way, I like the first one. The rest of them did not even bother watching. Had no interest. Um, <clears throat> I'm. They might have good parts, but either way, I'm not, I'm not interested. Um, yeah, he did Primal, which is a cartoon series that's... Uh-oh, uh guess what? Believe it or not, it's better than Rick and Morty. It's really good. It's not meant to be funny. It has its humorous parts, but it's mainly... It's like, oh, it's a really cool, serious kind of action drama. Violent as fuck. And it's 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 really cool, and I love the camaraderie between Fang and Spear. Um, there, it's a T-Rex and a Neanderthal, a caveman, and they they work together to to hunt and survive, and they they survive together, and they're like best buds, man. He he rides that Fang. Fang's a female, and he just fucking spears those fucking uh any fucking. Predator or prey or whatever the, the shit. Yeah. Well. Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so, so much for allowing me to use up some of your time this evening. I'm Ben Davis. And I'm far more weirder than anyone has ever described. If you wish to see the madness continue, please like and subscribe.